Greetings, greetings, peace, peace. Black World Crypto coming at you once again with another video. So time is money, your time is valuable. So let's go. In today's video, we're gonna be doing a walkthrough tutorial on setting up a Coinbase account. Now the Coinbase platform is an exchange slash wallet as most cryptocurrency exchanges are where you're able to buy, sell, and trade crypto. It can also be used as a wallet to store your crypto. But in my recommendations, that's only temporarily because my opinion, you don't want to leave your crypto on a hot wallet. You always want to, at some point, transfer them to a cold wallet, such as the Ledger Nano X, Ledger Nano S, whichever one you prefer. And there's other cold wallets which we will be doing tutorials on the wallets and the brands that we use and recommend. Um, at the time of this recording, we're using the Ledgers. So there is a tutorial walkthrough on the Ledger Nano S, um, which the X is not too much difference. You can find a link to that video in the description below or just simply um, browse our channel. Okay, enough of the formatics, let's get started. So from your Google, if you're using Google or from whichever search engine you're using, you can type in Coinbase or just go to the address and type in Coinbase.com to be taken to the Coinbase homepage. So first things first, a quick note to my decentralized community and that power base. The Coinbase platform is a fully centralized um, platform, so you will have to provide them with some personal information in order to use their platform. So from the home page, you'll see that Coinbase self-proclaims to be the easiest place to buy and sell cryptocurrency. You'll also notice that at the time of this recording, they will give you $5 in free Bitcoin just for signing up. And I do concur that this platform, second only to, in my opinion, using Cash App or actual Bitcoin ATM machine because of their simplicity of transferring money from my personal account um, this platform is one of the best user-friendly exchanges at the time of this recording for purchasing your first set of Bitcoins. So you can, if you desire, to pause this video to browse the homepage and see everything that this platform has to offer. I won't get into that today because this tutorial is on the setup process, but as you can see, you're able to, as you scroll down, you're able to buy different currencies. If you scroll down even further, you'll see that um, on this platform, you're able to set up a portfolio and they go into everything that you're able to do using their platform. If you continue scrolling down, they go into being the most trusted cryptocurrency platform on the market. Um, here are some of the reasons why they go into their um, security storage, their insurance policy, and their industry practices. But let's scroll back up to the top because this tutorial is on actually setting up an account. So as I stated in the beginning, this platform is centralized, regulated, and secured. So um, you will have to provide them with some personal information, starting with your email address so I'll type my email address in you type yours and please note that this email address is for tutorial purposes only please don't try to email me at this address because it's more than likely I won't receive it but let's continue so type your email address in and hit the green get started um, button when you're finished Okay, so on this page, you're gonna provide your name, 
email address and choose a password. And quick note on providing your email address. If you have multiple email addresses, try to stick with the same email address um, for all of your accounts going forward. And what I personally did was I created a new email address account just for my crypto. But um, to each his own, but try not to bounce back and forth with your email addresses. As you journey through this space, so writing down everything, taking great notes and keeping good records are great habits to adopt if that's not already your stilo. So continue by adding your state, then check the I certify that I'm 18 years of age or older and then next the create account button. Next is welcome to Coinbase. And as I stated earlier, um, at the time of this recording, when you verify your photo ID, Coinbase will give you $5 in free Bitcoins. Okay, so next let's hit continue to move forward. Now they're going to send you an email. So you need to go to your email account to verify the link that they sent you. So click verify email address. Next, Coinbase has a two-step verification process. To complete this step, you will have to provide your cell phone number so that they're able to text you a verification code. Continue to enter your cell phone number and click send code once that's completed. Next, check your text messages on your phone for a numerical code. Enter it here and hit submit to continue. So here is where you're going to have to verify your identity. They want to know more about you. So you're going to have to provide your first and last name again, your date of birth, your street address, the um, first four or last four, I'm sorry, of your social security number. They want to know your employment status as well as these two questions. What will you use Coinbase for? And what is your source of funding? You need to answer these questions to move forward. I think that it needs to be stated here that although Bitcoin was created as a decentralized type of currency, some of these new coins and these exchange platforms are not decentralized. They're very much centralized. So they're asking for personal information as if you were opening up a bank account or any traditional stock trading investment account. Now, if your screen looks like my screen, you are now verified and able to now start investing in cryptocurrency using the Coinbase platform. But before you can make your first purchase, you're going to have to fund your account by connecting your Coinbase account with your personal bank account. So just follow these next few steps. So from here, just type the name of your bank in the search bar above. If it's not Wells Fargo, Bank of America, TD Trade, Citizen Bank. I think you get the point. So on this page, you're gonna have to enter your bank account credentials. This is like signing to online banking. The information that you would use your user ID and password as if you were signing onto your bank account from online. So here you will need to identify yourself again. And for my bank, I can be sent a text or receive a phone call to verify myself. Okay, so now that that's done, we're done. But if you recall in the beginning, I showed you that Coinbase would jumpstart your portfolio by giving you $5 in free Bitcoins if you verified your photo ID. So for this final step, scroll down and click on verify your ID. Okay, so here it says financial regulations require us to verify your identity. 
select an ID type. So you can either use your driver's license or a state issued ID. Next, your method to upload. Of course they have webcam or you can use your computer to upload, but the most simplest way is just to take a photo pic using your cell phone and upload it that way. So Coinbase will send another link to your cell phone. Just check your text and click on that link and you can easily upload your photos from there. That concludes this tutorial. I pray that it was informative and educational. We'll see you guys next time. Black World Crypto out. Peace.